Yeah. Okay. Well, praise God. We're here again one uh, one more time. Amen. And uh, at a praise chapel Bible study in the city of Upland, we're serving the Inland Empire. Amen. Amen. So we welcome all of you tonight here that are here today and tonight and those on live stream. We just pray that God will uh, will be able to speak to you. We'll speak to you if you hear if you hear His word. Okay. God bless you all, and we're just gonna get started with our our. Our teaching today is on the, the door of safety. The door of safety, and it's a it's a series that we've been doing uh, about the, about the doors or open doors. So if you go with me into the book of uh, Genesis, in chapter six, but let me uh, read the introduction here first before we start. Okay. It says, uh, "Since nature is to is to ruin the family of man, that that that's it, that's its nature of sin, and as and as an and as and the and the seeds of sin exist in all mankind, the world would like to believe Satan's lies about about sin, which is wrong is right and right is wrong. It is through strange." It is too strange to believe in sin these days that that uh, that 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 uh, days are are, are are sin is not very dangerous. That's a belief nowadays. The sin is, isn't very dangerous. This 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 world has come to to view the concept of sin as a as a religious fanatic uh, obsession. Yet in in the end, the world will, will come to understand just how deceiving this sin is and, and how destructive it is to, to those who are who take it so very lightly the Bible teaches us that God has made a place of safety and the door is Jesus Christ he he, he, he allows us to enter into 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 the ark for of safety for those who enter in in there is, 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 is deliverance and, and safe and safe for those who, who, who it's dangerous for those who reject it. So we're talking about the ark today, the door, and uh, we're going to be teaching on the on the ark and about Noah and his family and how God uh, how God delivered them. So we go with me again to uh, the, the the text and uh, Genesis chapter six. And we'll start with uh, with verse five. And God saw that the weakness of man was great in the earth, and that every imagination, the thoughts of his heart, was was only evil, evil continually. And it repented the Lord that He had made man uh, of the of the on the earth, and they grieved Him and His heart. And the Lord said, "I will destroy man whom I have created." From the face of the earth, both man and beast, and the creeping thing, and the powers of the air, for it repented me that I have made them. But Noah, but Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. I'm talking about eyes today. Amen. Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. These are the generations of Noah. Noah was Noah was a just man, and perfect in the generations. And Noah walked with God. And Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and, and, and Jezebeth. The earth also was corrupt before God, and the earth was filled with, with violence. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And we're going to about, about the ark. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh is come before me, for the earth is filled with violence. Through through them and I be, and behold I will destroy them with, with with destroy them with the earth make make the make says, make an ark make me an ark of gopher wood rooms that rooms shall make the rooms shall I make in the ark and shall and shall pitch it with 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 and with and within the uh, pitch it within and without with pitch. And this is the fashion which thou shalt make it. 
the length of the eye shall be 300 cubic cubics, the breadth of it 50 cubics, and the height of it 30 cubits. A window shall thou make to the ark, and in and in a cubic shall thou finish it above. And the door of the ark shall thou set in the side thereof, and the and thereof, with lower lower second and third stories, shall thou make it. And behold, I even I do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is a is a breath of life from under the heaven. And everything that it, it, that and everything that is, the earth shall shall die. But but with thee, I will establish my covenant. And thou shalt come in, into the ark. Thou and thy sons and thy wife and thy sons' yeah. wives with thee, where it is for and with thee, and every living thing, if every living thing of, of all flesh, true of every sort, shall shall bring into the ark to keep them alive with thee. They shall be male and female, and all the fowls after thee, after their kind, and and the cattle after their kind, and and every creeping thing of each kind. Two, uh, two of every sort shall not come into come unto thee to keep them alive. Glory to God. So here's what God had a plan. God made a plan, you know. And He saw that He saw that the, that the earth was corrupted. He saw that that, that everything was corrupted. The people were corrupted. They were doing what 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 what, uh, what what they wanted to, living the way they wanted to, and and this was a, a very terrible time. In, in, in Earth history, if you would, if you can see right now where we're at, where you can imagine what it was in that time of Noah, it was it's a very uh, uh, terrible time. In in, uh, in the end, in the end, in the entire world, in the entire world, uh, God could, could 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 find only one righteous man. In the whole world, the Bible says that, that God could could only find one righteous man, and only one righteous man in the whole world. And he says that, and that, that today, you know, the nations of the earth have become so so corrupt that 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 we have lost all redeeming qualities. If you look around today, how what's going on right now in the world, you know, you see it in the news, you see it when you're on the street, you see it when you go to work, you you hear it on the radio and everything. But it's been corrupt. It, it just turned upside down. The world is people can't even can't even uh, uh, can't even. That they don't even know if they're male or female, you know. They don't know what they don't know what they want to do. They, they don't want to, you know. They don't know how they want to live. You know, they're, they're stealing. The whole thing is going on messed up. I don't know. If, I don't know if uh, you guys, you're probably too young, but I believe that all this corruption that's going on, this 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 coming against God and coming against everything. I think I think all this started in 19 in 1969 on the. With with uh, with uh, Woodstock, but Woodstock I don't know if you know about Woodstock, but when Woodstock was on, it it was a mess in there. For three days, people were doing. I mean, there was just a mess in there. And from that on, all that started sex and dope and and and, uh, and the destruction came up from there. And it was just a, a cycle. It kept rolling on that. Up to now, so many years later, look at our, look at our country the way it is. Look at what's happening in the world. And so God is looking down. Like my wife was talking about little about the, about the eye. God is looking down, you know. And and he, the way he did it at that time with, with Noah, he, he looked down and he saw the corruption that was going on. He said that it repented him. It repented him that he had made man. It made, it made every creeping thing. So he wanted to, he was going to destroy it. He said that, uh, Said, but 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 in the midst of all this, one man did not forget God. In the midst of all that was going around at the time of Noah, one man did not forget God, and, that, and his name was Noah. Noah warned them against the dangers of sin, but they didn't they didn't take heed. Just like right now, people are going around witnessing, witnessing, telling people what's happened, what's going to happen, but they don't care. They're, they're 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 happy the way they are. They're not. They don't want to listen. The pleasures of the sin were not easy. Were not easy to let go. They had so much pleasure in sin that they would rather hang on to that than, than they go to God. 
Now Noah's escape was based on two things. When you, if, if you read on, uh, on, on verse 22, it said, Thus did Noah according to all that, that God had commanded him to do. He did it was based on two things. It was on God's plan and, and, his, and, God, and, and Noah's obedience to God. Those are the things that, 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 that helped Noah escape what God was going to do to the earth at that time. God had provided a plan. And, and, and the way, uh, and, and the way how, to, how to escape from it. How to escape from, from the wrath of God. We must, however, respond in obedience. Like we right now. We know, we hear so much about the rapture. We hear about what, what, what's going to happen. And people are out there preaching and talking and, and you know and, and prophesying, but if we don't if we don't obey what we hear from, from from men of God or women of God, if we don't obey, we're going to be like the way it was in the day of Noah. We're going to we're going to be plugged up our ears and then end up at the last at the last minute we're going to be crying out to God when it be too late. The ark, the ark would shield them from God's wrath. So God's plan was to build that ark for them. They haven't built that ark. And he was, and that ark was going to shield them from from from, from, from his wrath. And Jesus, uh, Jesus Christ, in our lives, and and is on our is on our ark of safety. Jesus Christ in our life is our ark of safety. Remember John, John chapter four, verse thirteen says, uh, "We will, we will, we will dwell in the in the Lord, in the God in us. God in us, and we in, in the Lord. So He is our ark." We're born again, glory to God. We're born again, but we're in Christ, and He's in us. So He's the ark of our safety. But it doesn't mean that, that, that it doesn't mean that we can do go and do whatever we want to do, because then the wrath of God will come upon us. God is always the appropriate shelter for whatever we, we face. Whatever you're facing today, run to God, not away from Him. Whatever you're whatever you're whatever you're going through. You know, if you if you got a sickness or whatever it is, whatever circumstance it is, it's God. God is our shelter. He is the appropriate place for us to go and, and, and hide under the shadow of the Almighty. Get under His wings, glory to God, like a baby chick does. You know, get under there and just, and just and snuggle in and, and allow Him to comfort you. Allow the Holy Spirit to to to, 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 to guide you to comfort you. Because that's that's the only answer. We can't go to we, we yeah we, we go to doctors because we get sick, but we gotta trust the, the trust God with that doctor. We gotta trust God that, that that God will show him what to do, or or or, or, or anything that, that that you're going through, whether the finances, whether whether it's a, a trouble with your children or, or or your job or whatever. God is, God is the answer for everything. So always he is he is always always trust him. God has provided a way to keep us to keep from destroying all the land. God has provided a way to 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 keep from destroying all that was fallen. Remember, He destroyed all that. God's provision of safety pro, uh, protected a righteous man. His provision, He provided the ark. He provided the the the, 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 the material for the ark. You know, He provided all that, and He provided. Because because of one righteous man, because of Noah, and it also provided a way for for, for 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 nature to survive. Can you imagine? Can you imagine bringing all the animals in two by two, male and female, not male and male, male and female, two by two? He brought them in, but 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 he provided all, all, all that. He provided the food for the animals, but in but but in that at the same time in, in, at the same time when, when after after the flood had gone away and after they came out after they came out there was nothing in the land. I finally got ahead of myself. It's okay. There was nothing in the land that 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 that, 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 that was that was that was saved. Everything was destroyed. So how, when they came out of the, out of the ark, what were they going to eat? You know, what were the, what, what, what were the animals going to eat? So God, in that, in that time, all the food that they gave to the animals, 
whatever it was, alfalfa, whatever it was, it's, it thing had seeds. So, so Noah saved the seeds. So after 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 the after the flood, he had seeds to plant for the animals, seeds to plant around it. So God provided everything. He knew he knew how he was going to destroy everything. But 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 he knew that that they, they had to eat, you know, and, and that the ground was already destroyed. Everything was destroyed, but we had seed there, and the cattle. But we'll, we'll get to that later on. Amen. I got ahead of myself. Amen. Isn't it something that even the animals, the the male and female, <laughs> they knew. <laughs> yeah, they knew the, the, the animal knew. Hey, you're a male. Are you a female? Yeah, okay. <laughs> no questions asked. No questions asked. <laughs> they have to say, hey, you know what? Am I a male or am I a female? Yeah. 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 There you go. <laughs> this is what's wrong in the world today. They don't even know. I saw. I saw. I, I, I saw. I saw. Uh, and the news about two weeks ago, this this lady was being interviewed for for a top ranked thing in a, in 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 a, in, a, in the White House. And they asked her. They told her, "Can you define a male, a female? Can you define a female? Can you define she, a woman? Can you define a woman?" She goes, "What? Can you define a woman?" The Supreme Judge. Yeah. The Supreme Judge. Yes, the Supreme Judge. Can you define a woman? They asked her. She said, no, I never understand. I'm not a biologist. Yeah, I'm not a biologist. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. Jeez. So uh, can you imagine, she's going to be the judge. And they're asking her, can you define a female? Mm -hmm. My God, help her. Anyway. <laughs> That's interesting. What do you think God simply uh, destroyed all the evil people here today? Mm -hmm. Why didn't he just come out and destroy everything that's evil and leave us the good ones here. No. <laughs> Why doesn't he do that? Because his grace offers opportunity for a second chance. Yep. Can you imagine imagine the love of God? Can you imagine everything is going on right now in the world? Everything is going on from the from 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 uh, from, from, from uh, the homeless to what's going on in the, in the White House, what's going on in, in the borders. God can God can destroy everything. But he not because of his grace, he's given him an opportunity to get born again. To see, that that that's how powerful God is. That, that that's how much he loves us. His grace endures forever. Glory to God. So we might want we might want to say, God, get rid of them. God, get rid of them. No, you can't do that. You can't go against his grace. Today the door is is open, just as it was. For 120 years, 120 years, it, it, Noah was out there building an ark, doing what God every, day in and day out, seven days a week. He didn't, he didn't eat and rest. Seven days a five, five, six days a week. He was working and working, but for 120 years he was witnessing to them. They were laughing at him and, and, and making fun of him and all that. And yet he didn't he didn't he didn't back up. He didn't get angry. He, he didn't he didn't give up. He didn't say what the heck with you guys? No. A hundred and twenty years. And not one convert. Nobody got bored again in hundred and twenty years. Can you imagine somebody nowadays? To throw in the towel of 120. They say, no, forget it. I'm not going to be witnessing to anybody. But that's but that's what we, that's what we got to keep, keep continuing doing. Reaching a 120, 120 year anniversary, and the church never grew. But the door was still open. Can you imagine 120 years of preaching to the people? And, and, and telling them about what's going to happen, tell them about the Lord and everything. And yet, they not nobody got born again, but the door was always open. They never closed the door for 120 years. And that's that's the way our churches are right now. Our church got to remain with the door open. No matter how long it takes us to get somebody, no matter how long it takes us to get our family to come to the Lord, we have to be open to to, to witness to them. We have to be open to 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 to, to help them, you know. Not to, not to say, "Oh, forget you guys." We can't. They're they're, they're family. The door to safety. 
Let's go to Genesis chapter 7. In Genesis chapter 7, in verse 11, it says, In the 600 year of Noah's life, in the second month of the 17th day of the month, that the same day when all the fountains of the great earth of the, of the great deep were broken up and the windows of heaven were opened. And the rain was upon the earth forty days and forty nights. In the same in the self same day entered Noah and and, Shan, and, and Ham and, and Jephes, Jephes, his, his sons his the sons of Noah. And Noah's wife and 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 uh, the three wives of his sons with them into, into, into the ark, they and every beast after every, after his kind, and all the cattle after their kind, and every creeping thing that creepeth on the earth after this after his kind, and every fowl after his kind, and, they, and every bird of every sort, and they went into unto Noah unto the ark, two and two of all flesh, wherein is, is the breath of life. And they that went in, went in, male and female, of all flesh, and, and as God had commanded them, commanded him, and the Lord shut, and the Lord shut him in. And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased, and bare up the, the ark, and they were lifted up above the above the earth, and the waters prevailed, and were they were increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark went went up, and the ark went upon the, the face of the waters, and the waters proceeded, prevailed exceedingly upon the earth, and all the high hills that, that were under the whole heaven were were covered. <laughs> My God. Let me read a little bit more. Fifteen cubits upward did the waters prevail, and the, and the mountains were covered, and all flesh did die that moved upon the earth, both both the fowl and cattle, and the beasts of every creeping thing and that creepeth upon the earth, and every man, and up in the whole, and all and and all and all in those whose nostrils was the breath of life, of all that was in the dry, and that died. Can you imagine? When the day of wrath came, and it arise, and, and people didn't believe it that they were gonna that it was gonna rain. They didn't know what rain was. It never rained on the earth. It had never rained. Was no, it, the only thing that 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 that, that watered the earth was the mist that would come up from the ground. That was the only irrigation they got. So they never saw rain. They didn't know what rain was. And so so when Noah started telling them about rain, they started laughing at him. And here he's building an ark. When there's no ocean around, and yet even Noah, in the faith that he had for God, knew that he had to build the ark even though there was no ocean, you know, there, there was no water. But God said it was going to rain, so he believed God. It's, when we say God's coming back, you better believe it. God is coming back, and He's going to come back for all of us. So we got to we got to really go out there and witness to our people. You know. And Noah, Noah, Noah had, and his family entered into the ark, along with the with the representatives of creation. The representative of creation were, were the animals, and Noah and, and, and all the people joined in, came into the ark. Can you imagine the ark? How big it was! It, 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 it was 450 feet uh, wide. No, 450 feet long. 75, 75 feet wide and 45 feet high. And the Titanic was 855 feet long and 92 feet high, wide, and 64 feet. And that and that and that sunk under the ground. That one was, 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 was wrecked. But here God had his hand on the ark. He, I, I can imagine seeing God underwater holding the ark like this. And it's rocking it for them. And they got a little bit rocky and shaking like that. But he, but he was there with them. You know. Once inside, they, they, are, they are safe from judgment. 
And it is God who closes the door on Noah. We we'll touch it there in verse 16 in chapter 7. That God shut the door. Noah couldn't close it. God had to shut it. And no man could open it. No matter what, no matter no matter how much the people banged in that door, no matter how much they used whatever they tried, they could not break that door. They could not open it. Once God closes something, nobody can open. Once God opens things, then people see. So whenever whenever God does something, it's, it's done. It's closed, you know. And that's what's going to happen when 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 when, uh, when the rapture comes. That's another. Wait a minute. I'll come back to it later. <laughs> One day, God will deliver His children from the from the coming of the wrath of God. And he would shut, he would shut us in. For he is the door, like 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 John John uh, John chapter uh, ten says, very very I say unto you, I am the door, and, and, and nobody comes into, into, into the door but through me. He says, so well, God 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 seals the door, God seals the door the door. No no no, I can't leave. No anybody can anybody else can get in. They can't get it, it, it out. And the undeceiving can't get in. The invitation had, had been made for 120 years. And it's the same thing today. The invitation is still out there. Nothing could deter deal, deal Noah from, 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 from uh, following God's word. Nothing could, could, could change his mind from following God's word. God's will was the most important thing on Noah's heart and mind. Can you imagine, no matter what he was going through, no matter what was happening, no matter how they came at him, he knew that he had to do what God asked him to do. To build an ark, bring in the animals, and, and bring in his, his children. And that was the only thing that, 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 was in, that was in his heart and his mind, was the will of God. And that's what we have to remember. We must remember the will of God. What is your will, God? What is your will for us? And when we hear the will for us, then we, we then we will t go, then we t be obedient to that will of God. How many of us would have had that kind of endurance? Noah, who lived, who lived for far better than 120 years faithfully, was literally, was literally the only one in the whole world outside of the family of outside of his family. He was the only one outside of the whole world that was faithful to God. How many, you know, sometimes, you know, sometimes we, we, sometimes, you know, we feel like we're down or something like that and nobody wants anybody, you know. So you go to talk to somebody and, and they go, oh, yeah, you're right, you're right, yeah, forget about everything. How many times do you think, no, we must be, be, be told that, you know. Oh, it's not going to rain. No, there's no water. What is that? Come on, forget about it. By his faithfulness to God. That's why we're here today. Because he got faith with his faithfulness to God. Noah provided the obedience and the result was salvation. He provided the obedience and the result was salvation. Look at Genesis chapter 7. We're going to read that. Two, 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 two verses there again. Verse 17. Right, 17. Yeah, 17. And the flood was 40 days and 40 nights upon the earth, and the waters increased and bare up the ark, and it was lifted up above the earth, and the waters prevailed and were increased greatly upon the earth, and the ark went up the face of the water and the waters prevailed chiefly upon the earth and all the high hills that were under the uh, under the whole heaven were covered. Can you imagine the highest hills that were under were covered with water? And all we need and all he did was obey. And all we got to do is obey him. Month after month there was no evidence of dry land or, or any hope of it. Month after month. Noah had to be patient. He had no idea how long 
this experience would be. He had no idea. God, God didn't tell him oh, just four months in and I'll take care of it. He just says, do it, get in there and, and do what I tell you. God doesn't tell us when he's coming back. We have no idea. All we know is that he is coming back. And we better believe that he is coming back. We be, better be obedient to know that he's coming back. Noah had to trust God. In the meantime, in the meantime, in that big ark with his family and all those cattle and all the dogs and everything that was in it, even, even black widows and tarantulas were in there. Snakes and everything crawling all over the place. <laughs> I think they were confined. Huh? I think they were confined. Well, who knows? Anyway, <laughs> Noah had to trust God. In the meantime, keep happy a lot of box animals in his family. Can you imagine? He had to keep, he had to, he had to keep everybody happy. All the animals and everything. Hey, when Sadie starts barking, I get angry. Say, <laughs> Can you imagine everybody? I don't know if I want to say that. But maybe you know what we might have thought. You know, could have thought, God, wasn't there a, 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 a better way to do this that would have been more comfortable for all of us? You know, wasn't there a better way that we could all be comfortable? The day finally came when they were, once again they restored to earth. Now instead of the earth being being full of a, of evil doers, the whole world was full of only believers. They were the only the family. Yeah. <laughs> they were the only one. But they were only full of believers. God not only provided a plan of escape. For them through through the ark, but also provided a way for Noah to worship him when 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 when, uh, when they were free. Not only not only a way to save them, but a way uh, for them to to worship appropriately. God, he asked him to make an altar, and then Noah went came out. Noah made, made an altar. He started sacrificing animals. He started sacrificing the clean one, and he began to worship worship and praise God there. Do you, do you have an altar? Huh? Do we have an altar? Do we, we get born again? We get born, born again. We have Jesus in our life. And, and so we got to have an altar on our heart to worship God. We're not going to kill any, any, any animals, but we're going to, but we're going to believe like, like when we, when we take communion in the shed blood of Jesus Christ, the body of Christ. That's, that's our altar. Noah sacrifices. And the question and altar showed that community before God, he rejects, he, re, he rejoices over his, over his salvation. That's what we had to be doing. When we pray and rejoice over our salvation. God, I thank you I'm born again. God, I thank you you waited till I was 40 years old before, you, before I got born again. You didn't, you didn't take me long. You didn't come up to me before, before that, Lord. We wouldn't be here. I, I, but Lord, I thank you that you waited for me. Noah demonstrates his humility before God, sacrificing the proper way at an altar he builds to worship God. Once again, once again, God provided a way from the next coming of judgment of God. Once again, God has provided. He did that for the ark, with the ark for Noah, and once again, he did it for us. The door has been open now for over 2,000 years. The door is still open. A day is coming when the trump of God will, will sound and the door will close on the greatest ark of safety. The greatest ark of safety is heaven. And when the trump sounds and God picks us up, the door of heaven is going to be closed. And people are going to be able to get in, no matter what. God will close the door like he did in the days of Noah. 
nobody could open it. And those that those that those that don't respond are, are going to be crying out to God. Let me read, let me read you the the conclusion here. When Noah built the ark, God instructed him to build a, a door in it. When when the time came for judgment, God shut the shut the door. Those inside were safe, those outside were lost. Jesus referred to himself as a door. All that enter through, through Christ will be safe. Those outside will be lost forever. And you entered into the door. Are you, are you, are you keeping the door? open with your foot and try to be inside and out worldly and back inside back and forth those of you on a on, on live stream we're talking about the door the door is Jesus Christ the Bible says if, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart then God said he will save you but you can't enter into the in, into a it, it's just like you go into somebody's house you got to knock on the door you just can't enter it and barge your way in. And it's the same thing with, 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 with Jesus Christ. You just can't get into, like they, they, they couldn't get into the ark. Because God closed the door. And the way, only way for you to get into the ark of heaven is asking Jesus Christ into your life. And if you don't do it today, then the door is going to shut on you and, and it won't be open for you anymore. So if you want to ask Jesus Christ into your life, you know, say this prayer with me. Father, I ask you to forgive me. I recognize that I'm a sinner. I ask Jesus Christ to come into my life. And I thank you, Lord, that you washed away my sins. And I'm a, I am now a new creature, Father. God. We thank you. I praise you. I give you all glory and honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you don't have a church to go to, we're at the corner of Ramona Parkway, Merced Avenue, in the city of Baldwin Park, which is the hub of the San Gabriel Valley. You're more than welcome to come there. We're there at, at 9 o'clock every Sunday morning and at 7 o'clock every Wednesday night. God bless you. We'll see you all next time. Bye now. Next week.